One of the big things that I try to remember and share with folks is that veterinary medicine and animal welfare are way bigger than we think. Zuma is a little six kilogram fur seal. He will stay here with us at the Moss Landing facility for a couple of days and get stabilized. And then he'll move up to the Marine Mammal Center Sausalito Main Hospital, where he'll get a full vet exam, brought back up to good nutrition and hopefully released um, in a few weeks. Um, and ideally he'll go back out and join his population in the wild and we'll never see him again. Four years ago now, I had the opportunity to start volunteering with the Marine Mammal Center. And for me, it was really an opportunity to just go in a totally different direction and learn about species that I was completely unfamiliar with, sort of challenge my skills, connect with a different group, a different population of professionals and volunteers. RAVS is Rural Area Veterinary Services and we really have a sort of three-pronged mission. The primary goal is to expand access to veterinary care in underserved rural communities where folks don't have access to routine veterinary services. At the same time, we're a teaching program, and so we bring veterinary students and veterinary professionals from all over the country, all over the world, together to provide hands-on clinical experience in medicine and surgery, but particularly in access to care and providing services with limited resources. And I think over the years, it's really probably the most impactful thing I find in the program for myself and, and our work in the field is around engaging, inspiring, building confidence, and really creating opportunities for folks to mentor and be mentored. I'm Robin Post. I'm an RVT in California, in the Bay Area. Uh, this is my work. This is Animal Fix Clinic. Um, this is a spay neuter clinic and other surgery clinic that is uh, basically kind of like a RAVS clinic that has a building. <laughs> so <laughs> Wendy was the f one of the very first people that, during an anesthesia case, said, well, what do you think? What do you want to do? And I was like, me? What do I think? And that kind of shaped forever that like my opinion matters. I'm the advocate for these animals. And if I have a thought or a feeling, I can say it and advocate for it and it's welcome. Most of RAVS is surgical, it's spay neuter and other surgeries, but they're starting to do more wellness clinics. And one of them is in San Carlos, Arizona, because they have a really bad uh, tick disease problem. Um, so the animals and the people are actually getting sick. So this last trip was following the CDC and uh, animal control, and so that's what we did for a week. I think everybody deserves a pet, and a pet deserves people, and I don't um, think what you can and can't afford makes you a good or bad pet owner. But I wouldn't know how to do any of this without RAVs. I would have no clue how to even have started this place. We have the autonomy here to have basically no one say no to us and we don't have to turn anyone away for lack of money. So we've never turned anybody away because they couldn't afford it. We just figure something out. Um, and that's all I've ever wanted. So I couldn't imagine it being any better. Most of the most meaningful or interesting things I've done in my career um, I didn't know existed until an opportunity came up, whether it was volunteering with RAVS for the first time and sort of responding to a call out for help um, or getting involved here at the Marine Mammal Center. Um, none of those are things that, you know, when I was 20 and starting out in the field that were on my radar as possibilities, but being open to the opportunities and stepping through the door when the opportunity arises has led to some really magical places.